Yes, mm -hmm. I train. I yeah, I've got. I've, yeah, now I'm trying to think one, two, three, four, five because I don't see things like that. Right, so you've come because you're gifted, whether you're a lesbian or you're gay or whatever. And I see people, I, I honestly see, because I mean, look at me, somebody else might want to call me something because I'm very masculine. And then people say, Does your husband have an abo No, people have things to make themselves comfortable, they want to define things, but he knows. Yabana, when I go in church, nobody can stop me, like, I get into that mode. And it serves me, but sometimes too much of something doesn't serve anyone. Mm -hmm. It's the same way when you ask a gay person, who's the man, who's the woman, right? Yeah. And, and it happens to them as well. Which, who, and I'm going to say, I'm going to show you a partner. I don't say a wife or a husband, one. So I would say, I won't say in daughter or in father, because there's no such, right? In the spirit world, there's no gender. So yes, but that's a powerful question of the role. You need to understand that roles are not necessarily about gender, it's about ability. Who is able to do what, right? I slaughter a goat, I haven't slaughtered a cow. I'm sure if I put my might and mind into it, I might slaughter a cow, right? So those, when things were created, and this I learned it from my husband because I come from a feminist background, right? And my husband is Zulu, and I was like, I'm going to Zulu. And he said to me, you know, love, what I'm trying to understand with this women's rights, this children's rights, we might as well create men's rights. Why can't we uplift human rights? Why can't we say we're in a partnership where we want to see each other thrive? Mm -hmm. So even in, in African <coughs> spirituality, why did we have terms like it takes a village, you know, to raise a child? And didn't say it takes a mother or it takes a, a, a whatever. Remember our African culture right now and tradition. What is tradition? Tradition are norms, principles, and values of being. Culture is a way of expressing those things. <coughs> so it has not remained the same. I've told you that it's evolved over time with the influence of religion. And religion, most religions believe in the man God. Whereas African spirituality never believed in the man God. If they believed in the gender of a God, they saw a woman in God. Mm. That's how it's been. And that's why we've got a lot of goddesses in African spirituality. So those roles were not allocated based on, you know, gender, uh, which is Now, yes, it's been done, and so. But you know what, in other cultures, a man is not allowed to kulma mm. pants. Only women. Mm. Right? In vendor culture, ma nothing can happen. Yom sebenzi, the works. Yom sebenzi are ceremonies, are rituals, right? Oh, nothing can happen without umakat. Nothing can happen. Kaspedi, ragadi, it's very important than umalum. Right? So it depends what cultural background you come to. Because if abandona by a kona, urakadi. You know, Makati has to go and speak to the ancestors. Mm. So I don't think if we were so gender orientated, why are we then different in different cultures, even though we are one as Africans? Mm. It was about what was the need and who can fulfill that need in that particular time. The whole thing about a man can do this and woman can't do that and do, those things are what, what has come with influences of religion. And this is not propaganda, this is fact. Because if we were Africans were, were very oppressive, why then do we have those differences? It was about who could serve what purpose then? Some things men are not even allowed to do that are seen as men roles. Mm -hmm. Only women. One day somebody said to me, when, when we were studied and made to believe that we were very oppressive to women because men would sit and counsel and discuss things, in African culture, when we sat in meetings and gatherings, we never represented individuality. African culture is about the collective. It's about building strong family systems that can enrich communities and enrich the whole society in which we belonged into. So women had multiple roles. Women had multiple roles all the time. So women can't sit the whole day drinking and discussing issues. When a man walked into that council, did not represent themselves as a man, would represent himself as a family system. Mm. Because you should also know that in, in other African, like in Zulu culture, for example, you don't lose your surname. 
I'm not referred to, I mean, they refer to me as manjans because they can't say Mara Malep. It's not easy. It's a tongue twister for them, you know? But you don't lose. My mother in law is not in Lanzi, it's Makumar. Right? So you should look at those nuances that exist in African uh, you know, belief systems that show that this whole thing about African culture being oppressive is because we now started believing in the man God. And then that's where they'll say, no, this is not a woman's thing. This is not a man's thing. It was never about that. It was about the need and who could fulfill the need. Does that answer your question? Yes, because minangi sango my own fans. So I always pass up for the households. I always do rituals for things. And nobody's ever questioned Guti. Or maybe it makes them come to Ngomanghamba na Bumkul. I don't know. I mean, all I know is I can do what I need to do. What is the need? Can I fulfill the need? Then the need gets executed.